Hello everybody, this is Suri. Welcome to this digital watercolor tutorial in Procreate. In today's video, we're going to paint this minimally simple and beautiful art of Kala Lilies in Procreate. These tutorials are absolutely easy to follow and as always, I will provide you the information such as what brushes I am using, what color codes and what Procreate tools I am using. Kala Lilies are one of the easiest flowers to paint as they don't have layers of petals. And I want you to see here in the screen the shapes I'm going to be drawing to form each flower. Today I'll be using a watercolor brush that I created myself and it's called Filler Wow inside my watercolor brush pack. However, I'll be providing some alternate options so that you can get similar results. As you can see, this piece right here came up a little bigger than it was supposed to be, but don't worry about that because remember we have an eraser tool that you can use along with any brush inside the Procreate Brush Library. And I will be fine tuning the shape of um, my flower with the monoline inside the eraser tool. I'm gonna go ahead and select all my layers so that I can change the size of my flower and for that I'm gonna use the transform tool. After I drew the leaf, I realized I wanted it a little farther away from the stem, so I'm using the transform tool set to warp, and I'm gonna go ahead and push it a little out away from the stem. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put all the layers that form this flower together in one group by sliding to the side and tapping on group on top. And since I put everything in a group, I can just select the group and tap on the transform tool to resize the whole flower. Alright, so it's time to draw flower number two and for this I have opened a whole new layer and when I finish drawing all the um, pieces for this flower, I'm going to go ahead and group it just like I did with the first flower. Thank you. 
all right so now it's time to add some dimension to this flower so it doesn't look so flat and for that i'm gonna add a clipping mask on top of each of the shapes i made for the flowers and i'm gonna change my color now i'm gonna be providing the code on the screen and also i'm gonna be changing the brush which is gonna be now the brush i use you have this brush is on the water set and it's called wet sponge and once you finish applying the dark pink to the areas where you want it in that specific peak of the flower, go ahead and blend it using either the Gaussian Blur or the airbrushes. I'm gonna, if you wanna go faster, just go ahead and use the Gaussian Blur. This is under the adjustment tool.
I'm going to go ahead and merge all the clipping masks with the layer they belong with. Alright, so before I add the third flower, which is just going to be a duplicate of the second flower, just flipped around, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and add a background, and I want my background to look like, like a blue sky behind the flowers. And for this, I'm going to use a stamp. If you don't have a water color brush set, remember you can find a stamp inside your water set. And the name of this stamp is called uh, Blotch. And you can just like put several of those or just put one and enlarge the size. But make sure you put that on a separate layer and put that layer all the way to the bottom so that it's behind the flowers. So for the third flower, what you are going to do is you are going to duplicate the second flower group, the whole group, slide it to the side and select duplicate and that group that you duplicated you're going to use a transform tool to bring it down and resize it smaller also while you are on the transform tool make sure you flip horizontal so that it's looking to the other way in the opposite uh, direction of group two So that concludes today's project. I really hope you found a lot of value in this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to give this video a like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tutorials in Procreate. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.